Ah, yes, please. Thank you. Why do you look like you hate me? I really don't. It's not my fault. I am very okay. Antalya were grabbing a quick breakfast. I'd give it three out of ten to be honest, it wasn't too good. <laughs> This was genuinely one of my favourite views from Antalya, it was such a quick um, walk from where we are staying, about 10 minutes, it was honestly beautiful, um, we did swim there um, in one of the days um, and we did grab these views from the um, restaurant, it was so amazing, honestly, 10 out of 10 would highly recommend this area of Antalya. <laughs> did go to Nemo restaurant, it was a good experience, I give it 7 out of 10, um, it's definitely worth uh, visiting. After that we did grab a quick coffee um, with um, some cake, I'm not quite sure what the name of the cake was again, but this cafe was amazing, I did love the aesthetics um, and the coffee was a good 9 out of 10. Highly recommend. Um, but yeah, it was it was good. It was amazing. We returned to the Land of the Legends at night just to see it with all the lights on. Um, I'd say it looked even cooler at night time just because of all the lights. Day four was very intense. Um, we did buggy riding, we did rafting, we did zip line. Honestly, very, very intense. However, I would definitely highly recommend it. We had so much fun. Um, I did lose my shades, my sunglasses, um, which I was quite upset about, but you know what? The memories that was created here was too good for me to um, complain. I would definitely highly recommend it. If you're in Antalya, Day 4 we embarked on our journey to Pamukkale, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly and um, the journey was definitely long if I must say so myself as you can see my boyfriend is here sleeping and he did sleep pretty much the whole journey <laughs> have Cleopatra pool it was amazing the pool was warm I believe it was about 
36 degrees or 26 something like that it was really good the only issue was that it was quite packed even here um, where the Pamukkale baths are as you can see it is quite packed there is a lot of tourists we did arrive in the morning I believe we arrived around 10 a.m. and it was this packed and it just kept getting busy and busier I'm not sure if going around 6 a.m. I'm not even sure what time it opens but I don't know if you go if you go there earlier it might not be as packed as this however we're still able to take good pictures good videos regardless of the fact that there is loads of people I know people normally complain that there's loads of people there but you have to understand you are also there as a tourist so there's not really much point on complaining because just like you want to see this everyone else also wants to see this and to be honest it doesn't really affect it that much like it was still good views I believe as long as people you know are respectful of the area as in no littering you know pick up your stuff like don't go on there with your shoes you know just respect it uh, respect the landmark and um, we're all tourists at the end of the day we all want to see the same stuff so of course there's going to be a lot of people if you just get over the fact that yeah where, when you travel there is a lot of people you know it'll make your traveling um, a lot better and smoother so yeah I did have fun here it was it was definitely amazing the views was really really good I had no issues um, even with a lot of people there one thing I will say though it is quite slippery so you do want to be careful when you're walking there are some areas that aren't slippery but quite a lot of the areas can be slippery but other than that yeah it's amazing that's very slippery and some parts are like completely fine but you know just in case Honestly, it's so hot right now. I think it's like 30 degrees, but it feels like it's about 40 degrees. Huh? visited the museum that's based in Pamukkale um, it's a very quick museum you can browse in about five minutes it was pretty cool um, nothing major there but definitely if you're there you might as well <laughs>
I'd give it a uh, 6 out of 10. It's good because it's quiet compared to like beaches. It's because it's a lake, it's not a beach, but yeah. Kind of looks like a beach though, no? Because of the white sand, but it's a lake. And the water is like a bit clear. You can see my dry ass feet. Oh. So you can see my dry ass feet for you. It's pretty, it's alright, it's clear. And such, I guess. So yeah. Bit, what'd you rate it? Nine. Half ten. Five. Five. Wow. I didn't ask if you were tired. I found the water is sweet. Do you want to taste it? It don't taste sweet to me. <laughs> it tastes like water. <laughs> okay, but it's not salty then, I guess. No, I guess it's not. Yeah, Are lakes salty? No, they're not really. It's beaches, so it shouldn't really be salty. I don't think. Yeah. I'm not an expert in terms of water. But yeah. This is what it looks like over there. It's just full of white sand, you could say, and then mountains. Not that many people, so it's good to come like if you want to somewhere that there's not too many people compared to the beaches because the beaches get like heavily packed. But I do love the beaches, but all right, not too. Day five was a more relaxing activity. We took a boat ride to the Turkey Maldives. This boat ride included lunch. We stopped about three times to swim. I believe the whole boat ride was about three hours, which is under three hours. It was amazing, relaxing. Um, I did have a fun time. I swam two times out of the three times we stopped. The last time we, sw um, we stopped, I was just extremely tired. I was really, really tired. So I just decided to relax on the third stop. But yeah, it was amazing. I highly recommend doing this. Pretty much every activity that we did, I highly recommend doing. I wish we did more, but I believe we did do quite a lot on this trip. And this was definitely one of the really good ones as well. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just soaking up the um, views the sea mother nature and there's my boyfriend swimming in this life jacket because he can't swim but yeah he also had fun babe come back come back After that boat ride, when we got back to our hotel, we of course had to get ready to head out and grab some dinner because yeah, we needed food. This dinner, um, I had fish with fries and a bit of veg. He had steak with fries and a bit of veg. It was a good 7 out of 10, yeah, mm, I'll give it that. This was day six, which pretty much counted as the last day because we were leaving the following day at 6 a.m. So we thought we would get a car as it was the best way of exploring the places that we have not yet explored around Antalya and do like low activities that we've not yet done. So we did hire a car for that one day. Um, 
so and we went around a waterfall i believe it was called dundee waterfall we went on the cable cars as you can see here it had great views i am a sucker for great views i do love a good view so this cable car was a great option i can't remember exactly how much it was um but i think it was around 22 pound or something for the both of us for a return ticket um and here we just randomly stumbled on this on our way to the waterfall so i can't really remember what this place is called but if i do i will put it in the video and yeah this is just the views from me being a passenger princess and yeah the waterfall is called duden waterfall it was an amazing waterfall it was free um to see yeah it was free so can't really complain pretty much everything that we did um on in day six was free apart from of course the cable car but yeah the views you get from this waterfall is amazing i have used amazing a lot of times in this video but honestly pretty much everything in this trip that we did and saw was amazing Antalya is a very beautiful place turkey is a very beautiful place i wish we got to visit uh, istanbul but we only there for seven days, seven nights, sorry, six days. But yeah, great, great, great trip. Highly recommend. If you are thinking of going to Antalya, um, definitely go. It was pretty cheap, to be quite honest. It's definitely a lot cheaper than European countries. Like, I can't exactly remember how much this whole meal cost, but I can guarantee you it's under £40. Definitely.